This training video is brought to you by K-Alliance. K-Alliance provides high-quality instructor-led training videos for desktop, IT and soft skills. Visit us online at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free 7-day trial. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and we hope you learned something new. Real videos, real learning, real success. Excel 2013 has a new feature called a quick analysis tool. It's a great little smart icon that pops up that helps you quickly analyze. Here we have a little spreadsheet, three salespeople, January through December sales, and then their total sales and the total amount of commission that they were paid based on those sales. What we want to do is just see how to quickly analyze how Patty's doing. So we highlight Patty. Now notice I'm grabbing Patty's name and all of Patty's numbers, but you only select what you actually want to analyze. And then this little icon down here is the quick access it's a nice new little tool, or excuse me, not quick access, quick analysis tool. And control Q is the shortcut if you're a keyboard shortcut person. I want you to notice what happens as I move my mouse away from the highlighted area. The little smart icon disappears. As soon as I get closer to the data, then it pops up again. So you can quickly analyze. You simply click on the icon and you get this wonderful little box that pops up. And it has formatting choices, charts, totals, tables and sparklines. So you see all you have to do is select the topic of choice. Now some of these things show up on the screen inside of the data and some of them show up as separate data. So for instance, formatting. Now this is quick analysis, so you don't get a lot of choices here. You can put on data bars, you can put on color scales, you can put on icon sets, right? So let's go ahead and put on the icon set and this is just the icon set that's listed. You can do icon sets a different way. This is just the quick analysis method. I also can add color scales. Now that's getting to be a little excessive, I know, and so you can just hit the undo button and take off because of my excessiveness. But you also have features that sometimes need a little more help. For instance, greater than. What is this greater than what? So you simply click on it, it pops up a dialog box and it says, well, greater than what? I want anything greater than 4,500. And I say, OK. Well, actually, before I say OK, maybe you want to change the format. You can go through and change the format as well if you want to. If I, for speed, I'm going to go ahead and leave the default. And then you say OK. And now you have that custom format that's available for you. I'll hit undo to take that off. Let's go look at a few other features. You have, oh, excuse me. You know, I've been hitting undo just to make it fast. But notice you also have this clear format here. So you don't have to do the undo. You can select the cells at any time and click the clear format. Let's go to charts. Maybe we're interested in charting what Patty's been doing. So I have clustered, uh, excuse me, clustered column, clustered bar, line, scatter, or more. And you can choose more and there are more options that are in here for the different kind of charts that are available. Or, oops, excuse me, I accidentally clicked outside of the selection there. Or you can go to totals and this would allow you to get some calculations in. I already have my totals in so I don't need to do this but it's a really fast way to simply put totals with numbers. Maybe you want a table. Maybe you want spark lines. So you see all you have to do is determine what you want and then quickly select it. I think the one I probably use the most is the icon sets just because I like the visual of the icon sets. And what you have to be aware of though is if you want different icon sets then you have to go into conditional formatting and choose a different icon set because the um, quick analysis only gives you a few choices. Same with charts and the other items as well. There are more choices if you go to the full blown feature but the idea is you want quick analysis. So select the data that you want to affect. So maybe now you want to go work on Bill. Click on the quick analysis smart icon and choose which quick analysis tool you would like to apply to your data. And when you don't want that data there any longer, let me click on Patty. You can clear the formats so your data is no longer applying those quick analysis tools. We hope you enjoyed this preview video. Please click on the like button below if you did and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to visit us at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free 7-day trial today. You could learn a lot in a week.